French Open champion Anastasia Vizquina drew the attention of the world at Roland Garros and continues to impress the fans here in Carlsbad. Tonight, Miskina takes on her compatriot, Vera Zvonareva, for a spot in the finals against Lindsay Davenport. It's next on the Tennis Channel. Certainly, Miskina also playing some fine tennis. Her first tournament on hard courts, and she started to look comfortable on this surface, too. Absolutely. She's looking so confident, and that was such a huge match for her last night against the Wimbledon champion, Maria Sharapova. Always a little bit of a grudge match when two Russians play each other, and she came back from a deficit in that match. Played some great tennis, really hung in there. That's right, it was a 5-2 deficit. Sharapova came out strongly, hitting the lines and hitting winners. And Miskina reeled off nine games, just really mixing up the pace and frustrating the youngster, Sharapova. Yeah, just a little more experience, a little more savvy. And Miskina grabbed the advantage, and you can see just coming up with the big shots on the big points. And that's exactly what she did. She really utilized the change of pace, the angles, and she was just too good last night for Maria Sharapova. Yeah, this was an entertaining match, and this crowd really embraced the French Open champion. She's a popular semifinalist. Boy, she will be dangerous, and of course, with that French Open title, she has banks of confidence to draw upon. Vera Zvonareva, just 19 years old, but boy, she has had some sensational tennis the last year. And she at number 13, currently number 15, 35 wins already. So she also feeling good about her chances. Two losses to Venus Williams, one to Emily Moresmo. She is bumping up against the best players in the world. She's getting to those rounds. Yes. And she had a win, tournament win in bowl. She took out Venus Williams at the French Open. Nice serve. Nice walkover from Serena Williams. Yes, Mesquina outmaneuvering her opponent. And that backhand is wide. Very smart player. Anastasia Mesquina has such a great court sense, always knows where to be at the right time. Line. She just guides that ball up the line. So much feel, not a lot of power, all feel on that shot. No luck so far for Zvonareva. Always a challenge to face a compatriot. Yeah, yeah. 
Zvonna Rabif, well, she is very upset. You can see this feel here from Anastasia Mesquina, just using all aspects of her game. Here's Von Reva not happy right now. See you frustrated. See that you're getting so angry. Well, that time she reacted well in the third ace. Well, Zvonareva does well just to hold her serve. She dodged a set point. champion has won the opening set. 6-2, just a set away from the final. <laughs> Playing a little bit of finesse. Mesquina was so far behind the baseline. Just didn't have quite enough time. A point like this, down break point, Anastasia Mesquina running all over the court and finally finishing with that beautiful topspin lob. Here, she's in the semifinals. Boy, she got that forehand right. She's hanging in there with her. every angle of the court. She's on the full stretch and look how she opens up the court with that angle.
ahead, a set and a break. Zvonareva, who has yet to capitalize. Yes, and that time she does capitalize. So some hope for Zvonareva. This is such a strong event. Moschino, of course, took out Sharapova. knowing she had the whole court open right there. Just push that forehand wide. There it is, Jens Gerlich. Right here on the Tennis Channel. Look at how far back she is. She can still generate so much power. <laughs> Suddenly she's the one making the errors. Well, that's better. Up 4-3, we're even on serve. Understands the times that she needs to apply the pressure. have to say too good beautiful disguise Another 
And this is exactly where this, where her confidence will come into play. She's been playing so many big matches, so many big points. by a whisker. She'd like to close out this match and put herself into the finals against Lindsay Davenport here at the Acura Classic. shot of the day. She was so far outside the doubles line, you really didn't think she could come up with something that good. So Zvonareva still fighting hard. The one-hander. to get this set into a tie break. successful so far today. some confidence. Zvonareva with another breakpoint chance. Oh, she's making it look easy again. Zvonareva can't believe it. When she lost that lead and went on to win the set. And 
Here's some numbers from the first set. Mesquina won't like those numbers. 24 unforced errors. Boy, that's ugly. And if Zvonareva wins this match, she has to play the doubles semifinal after this. That's right, and Paula Suarez. putting together a fine point. That forehand on the line, didn't she? Right about the service line depth. Backhand volley. Mesquina uses a swinging volley. She had plenty of time to set up for that one. Well, she anticipated the cross court play. Zvonna Raver will have a short rest. We will have that match for you. So stay with us on the Tennis Channel. be around by the time the U.S. Open comes up. Who knows?
side. This has been a dramatic turnaround. Forehand goes long. You could use four more here. That's an important one. done yet by any means. champion just too much. for 6-5. Can you believe this sequence of events? The drama, the emotion, it's... I would never have called this in a million years. Now it's up to Zvana Reva. Can she stay alive?
missed it. So a tiebreak will have. Full house on hand to watch these final moments. Mesquina is on the board first. Mesquita really pushing Zvana Rebo around. A drop shot winner. And that was such a gutsy play after she missed the drop shot in the first point of this tiebreaker. from the net cord there. Oh, that's a nice angle. And this is a perfect example of what Vera's von Reva has done so well. She's able to finish with the forehand. What a shot by Mosquito! Well, I think plenty of people thought that she'd won the match with that volley. Mesquina, and she is back on serve in the tiebreak. Let her down again. She put the two-hander right on the line. Do you believe it? 
This is just incredible tennis from both players out here. Fighting tooth and nail for every point. Just when you think she's going to crack, she comes up with a shot like that. Well, there are plenty of people on the edge of their seat here this evening. And Zvana Reva, another chance. Can she make it to the finals now? No. Mesquita with an unreturnable serve. Points all. Just incredible quality of tennis in this tiebreak. There's so few points decided by unforced errors. Again, at match point. <laughs> 12 points all. And you do not see many matches going this far into a tie break at any time, much less in the deciding set of the match. Each swing of the score bringing up match points. This crowd knows it's watching and witnessing something special. making up her mind that she will take the attack forward this time. No mistake on the overhead there. The backhand finishing 13 points all. Well, that backhand 
just in the alley. will continue. And you can just see Mesquina wanting to end that point so quickly. Well, we cannot believe it either. what this match is going to be decided on right now. Just a little bit of luck. champion using just enough experience, just enough luck to get into her first Acura Classic Final. She'll take on Lindsay Davenport, but what a match this was. Anastasia Mesquina wins one of the all-time great matches here at the Acura Classic, and she is down courtside with Karina Morario. Karina? Anastasia Mesquina, what an incredible match. That has to be one of the most exciting matches of your career. Um, definitely. I, I mean, it's, uh, it was better than in Friendship and Final. It was unbelievable. <laughs> and you're still shaking. What is going through your mind when you were down all those match points? Um, I thought I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> But um, uh, really, I was really, you know, I was trying to focus on every point and try to be concentrated. And definitely I won because of the crowd. Thanks, guys. You're awesome. And how special was it for you tonight to play such a close match in the semifinals of the Acura Classic against a fellow Russian? Oh, I mean, it's really important because I beat Maria yesterday and I really want to be in the final here. I'm second time here. I really enjoy the time here. And uh, I mean, I just really enjoy to be here. And I'm sure you don't want to think about it right now, but tomorrow you have to play the final against a red hot player in Lindsay Davenport. How are you feeling going into that match? Um, Lindsay keeps winning every tournament. I try to fight some more. <laughs> try to win a couple of games at least. <laughs> we would look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Congratulations on an awesome effort. All right, Karina Morario, thank you so much. And uh, Anastasia Mesquina, thank you for that match. Boy, all of us here at the Tennis Channel so excited to witness that classic semifinal. 